I'm often asked if I carry a spare magazine on my person, and the answer wasn't always yes. Uh, early on, when I started carrying a concealed firearm, I did not carry a spare magazine. I didn't see the point. Um, we know that statistically, in gunfights, most people don't ever have to reload. It's like a 1% chance. So I didn't see the point in carrying a spare magazine, but that actually isn't the reason why I now carry a spare magazine. In uh, my own training, after many years, after decades of shooting, I had my first, what I would call almost a catastrophic magazine failure. Actually, what happened was the magazine, the follower, got locked all the way down to the bottom. I luckily discovered this while I was on the range. Had this been a self-defense situation, I would have only got one or maybe two shots out of my pistol. Um, and it was because of this incident that I realized the need to carry a spare magazine. And ever since then, I've been carrying a spare magazine in one way or another. And there's a number of different ways uh, that you can go about carrying a spare magazine, but I absolutely do uh, now encourage people to carry a spare magazine because, again, if you have to draw that firearm in self-defense and you have a magazine failure, you essentially just have a paperweight. This is especially true if you're carrying like a small single stack and you only have eight, nine, maybe ten rounds. We know from a lot of different shooting videos that this is not always uh, going to be enough, even against an individual attacker. Uh, we know that you're going to have to fire multiple shots to stop the threat some of those shots might be misses um, so it's definitely a good idea the only time you can have too much ammunition is if you're swimming or on fire right so uh, now on my person I carry I have a horizontal uh, magazine holder um, that's currently what I'm using I've used vertical magazine holders they're also inside the pocket uh, magazine holders that will clip and they're magnets and they allow you to uh, carry a magazine in your pocket where it's easily accessible. You sh sure you could just throw a magazine in your pocket but then it's loose and it's bouncing around um, so having that magazine holder makes it really easily accessible. But as I said I carry with this horizontal magazine holder uh, right here on my support side. Um, a lot of the magazine, horizontal magazine holders go on the strong side. If you carry inside the waistband, you can get a holster that actually has a, a spot to place the spare magazine. And that just is, makes it real simple because it's just one holster with the gun and the uh, magazine. So... Uh, I think it's important to carry a spare magazine. I've been carrying a spare magazine every day uh, for the last few years, ever since I had that uh, catastrophic failure with my magazine. I would hate for that to happen to myself in the real world. I would hate to have that happen to you guys in the real world. So definitely get a spare magazine, get a magazine holster. Um, I'm going to cover a few different types in some upcoming videos and give you guys some ideas on what you can do, uh, how you can carry those extra magazines. And then also I want you guys to, to practice your reloads because bumbling around, if we've got to uh, swap out this magazine with the inert uh, cert magazine, if we're going to, to reload and we drop that magazine and then we go to reload, great when you can do it nice and smooth and easy. But if you're sitting there trying to reload and you're bumbling and you're looking at it and all of that, uh, that's not a good thing. So we definitely want to practice our reloads as well. Uh, as caring because uh, like I always say I have a basketball but I'm not Michael Jordan Michael Jordan didn't get great except through training and practice as shooters that's what we need as well we need training and practice and we need to prove our gear you know, might go out and you might buy the best magazine pouch in the world but it might not work for you and who you are as a person what I carry and where I carry might not work for who you are as a person how you carry might not work for me as a person it's an individual thing you've got to take an advanced training training class and prove your gear and that's one of the great benefits of our defensive pistol class I encourage you to sign up for a training with us or with another professional instructor and as always everybody be armed be trained and be alpha